हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल साइंस फॉर एग्रीकोस इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द क्विक पॉइंट्स रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक अपोमिक्सिस इन प्लांट्स दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट मोड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स दिस वीडियो कवर्स ऑल द प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चन दैट कैन बी आस्कड इन ऑल द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स गेट इन द वीडियो वॉट इज अपोमिक्सिस it is a form of asexual reproduction in which seeds are formed but embryos develop without fertilization apomixis is of two types the first one is facultative apomixis and second obligate apomixis term apomixis was coined by hans winkler now let's see what is facultative apomixis and obligate apomixis coming to the facultative apomixis in this apomixis does not always occur that is sexual reproduction can also happen in obligate apomixis only apomixis occurs most of the crop plants are facultative apomictic this is a simplified classification of apomixis adventive embryony apospory parthenogenesis and apogamy now let's see what is adventive embryony in this type embryos develop directly from vegetative cells of the ovule like nucellus and integument no embryo sac is developed in the crop plants examples mango and citrus now let's see what is apospory in apospory development of another embryo sac occurs without reduction from the cell of ovule outside the embryo sac or the embryo may directly develop from the diploid egg cell apospory is seen in the crop plants of malus crepis and ranunculus species now let's see types of apospory it is of two types one generative apospory in this embryo sac develops from the archesporium and the second one is somatic apospory in which the embryo develops from the nucellus or integument now let's see what is apogamy apogamy is the development of embryo either from synergids or antipodal cells of the embryo sac apogamy is of two types haploid and diploid apogamy diploid apogamy is seen in antinaria and elium species now let's see what is parthenogenesis it is the development of embryo from the egg cell without fertilization its types are haploid and diploid parthenogenesis parthenogenesis is seen in dandelions After learning the classification now let's learn advantages of apomixis True to type progeny of plants can be obtained in the apomictic species Farmers can sow the same seed every year if the species is apomictic Heterosis can be easily fixed and maintained in the apomictic species Rapid production of the homozygous lines is possible Next vibrids can be produced a vibrid is the progeny of a cross between two facultative apomictics friends in this video i have covered all the important points related to apomixis in my next video i will cover about sexual reproduction in plants hope you like my video if you like my video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos